Welcome to the Trump Breaking News Network, your daily source for up to the minute Trump news. Join us today and every day. Here's today's news. This is TBNN. Trump ensnares media in yet another fake news boondoggle. By the underscore real underscore fly. The media was rife with I told you so headlines yesterday, after reports from more unnamed sources said the first order of business for the Trump administration was to hold a summit with Vladimir Putin, in Iceland, just like Reagan did with Gorbachev, circa 1986. The headlines were smug and the Twitterati of newly born left-wing militarist warmongers were resplendent with calls for martial law or protests or anything that could stop Donald Trump, an obvious traitor against America a revolting person of low qualities who enjoys to be urinated upon by Russian hookers. The only problem with that narrative, as touching as it may seem, is that it's completely false. According to Trump's press secretary, it's all fake news. Here is what Bloomberg peddled for news yesterday. Donald Trump's advisers have told UK officials that the incoming president's first foreign trip will be a meeting with Russian President Vladimir Putin. Potentially in Reykjavik within weeks of taking office, the Sunday Times reported. Trump plans to begin working on a deal to limit nuclear weapons, the newspaper said, without providing details. It cited an unidentified source for the summit plans, and added that Moscow is ready to agree to the meeting, based on comments from officials at the Russian embassy in London. The paper, citing an unidentified advisor to Trump, told the Times that the president-elect, who will be sworn in on January 20, will meet with Putin at a neutral venue very soon. In Ein Iceland's capital, Trump's team may be hoping to recreate the optics of a Reagan-era nuclear agreement. Former President Ronald Reagan and Mikhail Gorbachev, then General Secretary of the Soviet Union's Communist Party, held a two-day summit in Reykjavik in October 1986 to work on what eventually became a major nuclear disarmament treaty between the two superpowers in 1987. Trump's transition team didn't immediately respond to a request for comment. Did the media just make up the story out of thin air in an attempt to further deride Trump? I must admit, only in a bizarre world, such as the one created by the left for the left is holding meetings with a military superpower in the attempts to normalize relations and preserve peace considered a bad thing. Alas, we are living in an era of war, where the military-industrial complex works overtime to control useful idiots to foment anger and sway public opinion towards, you guessed it, more war. This story was likely leaked by Team Trump on purpose, in order to make the media look like jackass fools. By leaking falsehoods to an ornery and invective media, Trump keeps them on their toes and makes them second-guess anything they hear coming out of his quarters, an effective disinformation strategy used to fool an enemy during a time of war. That's the news. Join us here every day. Be sure to subscribe and click the bell. See you next time. This is TBNN.